everybody. Welcome to my review of the Vango Ultralight 900 sleeping bag. Uh, I've been using this for about three months now, so I thought it was time I did a review on it. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a small pack size. I have compressed this down so it's quite tight and hard. But yeah, it is, uh, it easily goes in, these, in your rucksack, uh, quick weight at the bottom like that. And will fit in a comp sleeping bag compartment at the bottom of your rucksack. Uh, so what we'll do now is I'll get it out of the pack and you can have a look at it. Right, well, well as you can see, I've unpacked the sleeping bag now. Uh, it's obviously this bright orange colour, you know, which some people can find a bit ghastly. Uh, but I have uh, seen it in blue as well. Uh, I bought this for £70 and go outdoors, which is a good price. I think their RRP is about £100 for this. Uh, but I think for the money, it's... Uh, it's definitely worth uh, 70 pounds. It has kept me warm. Uh, the ratings on this is, a, uh, is a minus 5 to 18 degrees is recommended. Uh, comfort is zero. Uh, I've been in minus 7 but I use a sleeping bag liner and I was wearing thermal uh, trousers and top and I was really warm and toasty so uh, it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, the sleeping bag weighs 1.5 kilos which is actually quite lightweight for a synthetic bag and obviously some of the pack size is quite small uh, compared to some of the other Van Gogh bags. Uh, it has the, uh, the non-snag zipping with the piping on the inside here. It has an internal pocket here and it has the drawstrings for your shoulders to stop the draft from coming in and the drawstrings for the hood to wrap around your head a bit like any mummy sleeping bag really. Uh, the length of the sleeping bag it says 190 centimeters tall. I'm six foot one. I fit in it fine. It is a bit tight round me, but uh, I find that good because it stops the heat from escaping, keeps you warm. People say they want to move around in the sleeping bag. So me personally, I'd rather be in it, in it tightly fitting. It keeps me warm. If I want to roll over. I'll roll over in the bag. Uh, it's it has it's water resistant material and it's the Van Gogh ripstop the hexagonal fabric uh, which is pretty standard across everything they make now yeah, and it is water repellent so if you do have condensation in the morning I've woke up with a bit of condensation on top of the bag but I'm still dry as a bone inside uh, and it, that's about it really to say about the bag uh, a good all rounder uh, I'd definitely recommend buying it uh, it's good for trekking because it's lightweight and packs down small uh, if you're looking for a bag on a budget that does well, then this is definitely the bag for you, especially in the UK weather. Uh, obviously, if you're going to be having more sub zero temperatures, then this isn't the right bag. But I have got a uh, different bag for those temperatures, but this will do me right through the summer now. Uh, so, uh, I think, you know, for the purpose, it's probably Mango, say, three to four seasons. I'd say four seasons if we have a good winter, three seasons as a general rule of thumb. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, if you have any questions just ask me and uh, thanks very much.